Hello YouTube, welcome back to The Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. That was a good timing for the Tannoy announcement to go off, given that I'm doing an uh, intro. Thank you for the raid, please kick. And this episode is dedicated to Zoy Origin. Thank you very much for your support on Patreon last month. It's dark and we look like a baby smoking a cigar. Not a good start. Just looked at my stats. Might just hold R, actually. Yeah, I'm just going to hold R. Because that is absolutely awful. Well, she looks che more cheerful, at least. Um, yeah, this is better. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah. This is the one we're sticking with. So there's the seed while I say thank you, DSoldier13, for 17 months with a tier 1 sub. Sorry, time to poop now, and thank you for all the content. You're welcome, but please don't tell my dog to poop. Also, is that... Oh, of course. The grin we have is not from Pyro. The grin we have is from Chaos. We have Chaos. I'm going to make a very nerdy Batman reference, but we kind of look like Clue Master. Or is he called Quiz Master? No, I'm pretty sure it's Clue Master. What a nerd. But we look like him. Yeah, it's chaos for sure. Hello, Zeppel. He even has a ponytail. It really is Clue Master. I only know who Clue, Ma Clue Master is thanks to reading the Batman Eternal trilogy. Bug off bombs. All right. But I don't want to get into Batman conversation straight away because it was scared of the normals. Why didn't I use my space Brian? Because I didn't want to subject chat to seeing that, probably. Common misconception that that is Mom, it's actually Isaac. The more you know and are horrified by. But you do know now, and you can choose to use that information or to bleach it from your mind. Isaac also has a mullet. I'm taking a chance on tower. Aha, double chance! Where did it... Oh, it was there. Okay. Not a great secret room, but whatever. At least it saved me a bomb. You choose to bury that information deep, deep away. I'm like that with responsibilities. Ah, damn. Need a bomb in here, too. I'm not talking about... No, there was no mention of Batman. You're imagining things. It was a fever dream. Go back to looking at porn while pretending to watch the stream, Zeppel. You filthy... Where are you from again? Elsewhere. Elsewhere that isn't here. Thank you, Nightbringer, for 20 months with Twitch Prime and for doing a woo, but also including two woos in the woo, making it a quadruple woo. You can't ask me where Tyrone is, especially when playing this, because Tyrone is the name of the absolutely horrific PR manager that Nicholas has that is an absolute piece of shit. No offence, but hire better people. Porn is for noobs. No, you mean knobs. You said it wrong. Whatever you call a lady's knob. You know the part I mean. This could be anything. It's a second bomb item. I can use that bomb for goods and services. Hello, Mike. Now I look like Quizmaster... Clue Master, damn it. At the end of the Eternal Trilogy. Spoilers. Are you trying to use your Twitch Prime court? There's a button. There should be a blue crown. Don't call it a growler. That's disgusting. Glaswegians just call it the hole. Also, didn't you say that you were like having to choose between eating and buying video games? So you should probably just like oh, use the normal subscription. Especially so you can save up for Iceborne and whatnot. 
We don't need child leash, so yeah, we'll just nip along with that. As much as holding Isaac's bra is disgusting and that amuses me, we'll definitely take Book of Sing because it's just better. Thank you Dragon Ninja 2 for subbing with a tier 1 sub. If you are new, you have access to a bunch of emotes that Court doesn't because he's cheap and poor. And has been living in the woods for the past two weeks and that's not a joke, he actually has been. His family was forcing him to get away from his MMO addiction. It was basically like the Evil Dead remake. Except in that case it was drugs, but MMOs are very close to being a drug. When did Eden become a Nurgle worshipper on the last floor? I do say that after you attempted, because the attempt clearly failed and I'm trying to save you money by being mean. Also, you're never around anymore. Now, again, granted, you were taken against your will into the woods for two weeks, but... Other than that, you're too busy playing MMOs and hanging around with your Australian friends that teach you bad words. Whereas Valinar and I are over here being adults and you're like, mm, don't want any of that. They're too responsible for me. What is that? I mean, obviously it's probably a wedding ring, but I don't remember if I've ever seen it before. I want it. Need the bombs. It's either the one ring a wedding ring or a cock ring, and we're going to find out which now. It's a cock ring. Okay, fair enough. Also, Guppy's collar was sitting there and I just didn't notice because I was too busy looking at the ring. I, can I withdraw more money from the bank of me, please? Valinar hangs out with the Australians as well? That, that's impossible. I haven't heard him say cunt once. Mind you, he does hang around with the degenerates on your Final Fantasy XIV clan, doesn't he? Yeah, I forgot about that. They're a bad influence. But Valinar is old enough that he knows when he's had too much MMO. Maybe. I'm glad we have Chaos. Makes up for not getting a deal with the devil. Ah, I didn't really want that. The range up was fine. Well, I have noticed that he is streaming a smidge too much. Yeah. Uh, just a smidge. Did he really stream it for nine hours? <laughs> How do you have that fortitude at your age? I'm knackered after a four hour stream. Although I will say, and I, I mean no offence by this, but there is a difference between just streaming yourself playing a game and trying to put on a show. One is more taxing than the other. Hello Crispy. I was speaking to Crispy earlier about something that I won't say because it's up to him to mention it. But he basically confirmed to me he's going to live stream throwing his ex bone out a window, which is pretty cool. And you have that verbatim from him. When you say lies, and yet I have it in written form. So I, I don't see how it could possibly be. A gift for you. Thank you, D Soldier 13, for taking pity on poor Cart and giving him a subscription to someone with whom he has done most of the emotes anyway and probably can just spam them himself because he has the source files. I also accidentally took on a little bit of a Morgan Freeman tone there. I didn't mean to do that. Bollocks. Yeah, I've written from me, but that counts, doesn't it? Ooh, thank you very much. Tears down, but worth it. Well, I say worth it. I didn't realise it gave me a plus three. 
Good grief. This chaos is giving me everything I want. It's like Nurgle is just letting himself be known. It's like, I did this for you. Now worship me more, that is. Um, we probably have enough bombs for Liberty Cap GG. So, Chad, what have you been up to since all of two days ago? Well, the one day ago, I guess, from not streaming. You're doing your Monday, and then I can talk about what I did on my Monday. Including getting the best birthday card possible for my sister. Which I can talk about freely because I think she only watches on the YouTube side and this will be posted after her birthday. I mentioned it in Discord, but it's just it's a rainbow card. It's just a card with a big rainbow on it, a dog floating through space, and it's farting the rainbow. And then the inside says, I hope your day is as special as a dog farting a rainbow. And I thought, yep, that's that's the card for her. would only have been made better if the dog that was farting the rainbow was a husky, but sadly it was not. It's uh... Whatever the Fraser dog was, one of them. You gave a bath to all six of your dogs? Oh, that reminds me, Sora has entered the horny stage of her season and it's very annoying. She keeps walking up to me, turning around and then bending her tail to the side to expose herself. It's disgusting. No, range down. A Jack Russell Terrier. I was going to say Cocker Spaniel, but it definitely wasn't that. I didn't need to tell you that. I thought that's what you came for, to hear inane stories about things. If I have to put up with it, then I get to complain about it. What else do you want me to talk about instead? Like, ignoring the the Amazon protests and buying exactly one stupid thing from Amazon on Prime Day? Said stupid thing being a DVD boxed collection with foreword by Adam West of all 120 episodes of the original Batman television serial. that I have beside me. Also, I didn't actually know there was protests until after the fact, because I didn't see any mention of it on the news at all. But I guess the less said about the boss of my boss, the better. On the Twitch side, anyway. There was protests, yes. Well, there was a walkout of Amazon workers protesting poor working conditions and they scheduled it on Prime Day. So the people actually working on Prime Day were scabs. So that means the person who you should be mad at is the person who delivered my DVD to me today. Well, actually, no. If, the, if it was only for the day, then no. Probably not. We got death list on this, eh, not death list, the scythe on this floor, right? So we should be good to go. I'm mad at anybody if the working conditions really are that bad. My mother actually plays Pokemon Go with someone who works in an Amazon warehouse, believe it or not. And as far as I'm aware, she, he has never mentioned to her anything about poor conditions. But they also just play Pokemon Go, so it's not like she's privy to his most deep, darkest secrets about work, so... Greed Skullet. Nope, that is Sack of Sacks. I get that wrong every single time. There's a John Oliver a documentary about it on YouTube. See, I don't know if I would want to watch it, and I know this is not fair, but I like Amazon's next day delivery. Especially being an anxious introvert that doesn't like going outside. It's fast and it's easy to get stuff I need. 
but if I watched a documentary about how horrible they're treating their workers, I wouldn't want to use them anymore, but I need them. It's also the only place I can find, like, Sora's food, and it's the only decent place I can get, um, a, th a thing I have for breakfast every morning. No, Iceborne isn't out yet. We have to wait till next year to play it, unfortunately, most likely. Because PlayStation gave them money, probably, or something like that. Unless you're planning on playing the console version, but I'm not. I shall just wait for the superior version on PC. My sh no shade. It follows. Yeah. I've never seen it follows, and I want to see it, so I wish it was on bloody Netflix. Ooh. Okay, so we just need the boss. So in terms of what I did in my day of, I honestly didn't do too much. I painted a large Tyranid model that I posted a picture of. And today I recorded a Batman miniature game battle report, which I enjoyed. It was a good one. Very bloody. And I am set up to record another 40k one, but I'll probably wait a couple of days. Because I'll be editing that battle report tomorrow. Oh, also on the second channel... The videos have started going up that have my new intro that I paid for. One person commented that they liked it, but I haven't seen any other input on it. In terms of like targets, not much of a change since last month, uh, last Tuesday rather. I'm up to like 350 subs on it. Still a long way to go to the first big milestone of a thousand. You like it? Thank you. Well, I say thank you like I made it, as I say, I just... I found a graphic designer to make it for me. You're too lazy to comment most of the time. Nice comments are... a godsend in a sea of shit. you seen Agrit Suko Season 2? You know that, like, creepy, passive-aggressive guy that, like, pulls a weird face when he types on his phone or whatnot? Imagine that, but he's doing it at a PC while on Twitter or YouTube, and that's, that's how most, like, mentions go on YouTube or Twitter. Oh yeah, I think I remember seeing you say that you watched Batman Ninja and that you were surprised that it was so good. It is good. It's wonderful nonsense. I also don't know what this dad's ring circle is doing. I've become too chonky, I can't dodge easily. Pickle would be furious. Why storm Area 51 just casually walk into it? Why give the government months of warning that you're planning to do something stupid like that and as a result make them move anything that would be incriminating? Nah, comments don't help the algorithm these days. They used to back in the day, but not anymore. It's all about watch time now. Because too many people were gaming the system and YouTube's only solution for it was just to remove them from mattering. Same with liking and disliking, etc. Range down. No thank you. Tennis rock, new. I do love the memes that have come from the Area 51 stuff. There's been some fantastic ones. 
How did it start anyway? Like what is the genesis of... Is it a, like a change petition or a Facebook group of conspiracy theorists or... Like not the memes, where did the actual real thing start from? Oh, I hope I get to take all these. Shit. Well, now I have to kill an angel as revenge. The martyr's still good, but I think there might have been a better choice there. I'm amazed I didn't get hit by my own bomb there. Oh, right, yes, yeah, scythes don't push bombs. I don't know why. They just don't. Also, he's immune to poison after he gets poisoned a couple of times. Oh, no, no, he's not. He just must have a high resistance. Get me out of here. The vent says they will Naruto run so we move faster than the bullets. There's a Facebook post for likes. Okay. But then it, it kind of grew more than they would ever have thought. Crap. Well, actually, no, that's too bad. Uh, not too bad, rather. It's a good timing on the crap. I must admit, I'm a little disappointed now knowing that it is just nonsense. I thought... Like, my hope was it was just a bunch of conspiracy conspiracy nuts. Like, genuinely thinking they could achieve anything. Because that would have been more fun. But... You know, whatever. It was just weebs. It's always just weebs. Someone should open an enemy store and call it just weebs. Anime memorabilia, I guess. You'd have to have a really big porn section to even stay afloat, I would imagine, but... Also, we finally have a map, which is nice. I did watch one thing over... Oh, goodbye. Over my day off. I watched that probability documentary I was talking about. I thought it was mostly focusing on like gambler's fallacy, but it's not. It's just it was very specifically about here's how probability is used both in gambling but also stuff like uh, rescuing someone who's fallen overboard from a ship. They use probability to estimate where they've drifted to. Oh, I was looking at chat. And I had an interesting bit on what was called Wisdom of Crowds, which is a concept I hadn't heard of. And it's quite interesting. And I could bore chat by talking about it, if you want me to, to save us talking about the Area 51 BS. Talk about it, please. I don't want to talk about the aliens. They'll get us. Alright, the wisdom of crowds. I'll use the exact thing the documentary does to illustrate it. Scientist has a huge box of, or barrel, whatever, of jelly beans. And they go to a carnival and they ask everybody at the carnival to guess how many jelly beans are in the tub that they've got. And the guesstimations vary wildly from like 100 to, I think the most ridiculous answer they got was 12,000. My estimate looking at it was like 300. I was way off as well, as it turns out. And the wisdom of crowds is... I wouldn't even call it a theory. It's just a thing that happens. We need to go back for the item room. Where individuals can be wildly incorrect, but over a large enough sample size, the average of a crowd will fall somewhere very close to what is actually the right answer. And in this particular case, I don't specifically remember how many jelly beans there were, but the crowd, it was less than 10% out from the actual number. I believe it was 8% within the average was of how many jelly beans there were. But they were also quick to point out that 
the wisdom of crowds is also exceptionally easy to influence, either deliberately or accidentally. Like, for instance, if someone's stupid enough to say, yeah, I think that tiny thing of jelly beans has 12,000 jelly beans in it. If you, like, scoffed at them, they'd obviously say, oh, no, no, I was just kidding, and then guess again. But assuming no tampering, asking a big enough sample size will probably get you pretty close to an answer. And that's what's called the wisdom of crowds. It's not science, it's probability, just to be clear. A weirdly shaped stage. Also, I have not internalized that I picked up a flying item. Picked up Lord of the Pit without even realizing. Alright, you can start talking about the stupid alien thing again now if you want. I don't remember anything else that I watched. Actually, no, that's not true. I watched a DC animated movie. But that's Batman stuff. We were trying to avoid that for as long as possible, even though we talked about Batman Ninja, but that was Kurt's fault, so it doesn't count. You blame him, not me. Hello, Nurgles. Please don't leave just because someone said Batman. <laughs> you're not a president, you're an evil vice president. There's a difference. At level 50, you evolve into nice president. And you take pictures of everything and say nice. It wasn't actually a Batman animated movie. It was... Hang on, I'm going to have to check what it was called to get the name right. Wait until after this room. Wait for it. Wait for it. It was... Teen Titans The Judas Contract. It would have been more apropos if I was playing as Judas. And it was okay. I, I think the title of it gives away way too much if you pay attention and know who Judas is. It was pretty good. Is that new? I don't know. The animation looked pretty new. It looked kind of like the newer Batman animated films I've watched. It also had a lot of adult jokes in it, which I appreciated. It had swearing, too. <laughs> like, Deathstroke beats the shit out of Robin, and Starfire asks, like, why did you do that? And he said he wanted to shut the little shit up. And I'm like, hell yeah! You shut that little shit up. But there's also a lot of filthy jokes about Nightwing and Starfire having sex. But yeah, it was fun enough. And watching it got me in the mood to get off my ass and start painting my Teen Titan models. So they are going to feature in the next battle report, on the assumption that the one contrast paint I've been waiting almost a month for actually arrives. I don't blame Wailing Games. I blame Games Workshop. But at the same time, they're never accurate with when they're planning to get a restock, and I, I think it is going to be the end of the month. Because Games Workshop will be funding their own orders first before they hand out restocks to third-party folk. I almost didn't see you there. <clears throat> Beast Boy is really an idiot in it. Oh, isn't that like his character that he's supposed to be a bit simple? He was that way in Titans as well. And he was in love and people do stupid things when they're in love. I mean, look at how Kurt ruined his life with Final Fantasy IV. I'm sorry I keep poking fun at you, <laughs> but it's just so easy. <laughs> Oh, MMO addiction. Oh, I remember it very well. My painting videos got you back into painting? I'm happy to hear that. Send me pictures of all the models you're painting. I love seeing them. That goes for everybody, I'm meaning. Because it also helps inspire me to do more as well.
I've still got Justice League Dark to watch. Didn't find the time for that yet. I don't really want to watch that though, because I know it's going to encourage me to get the um, the newer Swamp Thing miniature for the Batman miniature game. But you can't buy that by itself. You've got to buy the Justice League Dark like triple set. And I don't care about the other two miniatures it comes with. I don't like Dead Man or the I don't even know who the other lady is or other lady the lady. Hello, Frogler. Boss this way? Yeah. You don't need to send me pictures of Spider-Man. I can wait until they've made a sequel to... Oh, you've reminded me. <laughs> Thank you. But there's another topic of conversation. I forgot that there is a game out this week that I'm interested in that Spider-Man is tangentially connected to. Does everybody remember what it is? Getting a thunk emote that implies not. That hair. I, I saw the damage. That did hair. So oh, I hope we get a damage item of some kind from the angel deal. Ah, oh, crap. Hang on. Sneeze. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was a big one. Ugh. No, Avengers is not out this week. You're close, though. It's Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3, which is a Switch exclusive. It does have co-op, but I'm not going to pressure Valinar into getting it. If I need to do it by myself, I will play it by myself. If chat wants to join me, they can join me. It's up to four players, I think, online. I totally forgot that it was out in July. I thought it was August. Don't touch Cursed Eye. Run's going to get slower now, though, because we don't have... Did I miss a shop? Hang on. Because this was a double key room, right? So there's still a final shop. That's a chance at damage, so I should find it. What's that? It's like a third-person brawler, but with like every Marvel character ever. It's like a Avengers... Guardians of the Galaxy, X-Men team up against Thanos and his dark... What are they called? Dark Order? Is that what they're called? But some villains team up with you as well. Because they have to stop Thanos and Infinity Gem, BS, etc. The release date... It might actually already be out today in America if it's doing the whole Tuesday release date thing, but it's not out till Friday in the UK and, well, Europe. Ooh, Book of the Dead is good. <laughs> Yeah, I played a I played a little bit of Marvel Alliance 2. I never played the first one. That'll get us bookworm though, so it's still worth doing. But we need the survivability because our HP's crap. Nope. Good games. Well, I'm hoping the newest one. Oh, tears up. Yes. That's good. I never ready to leave. I'm hoping the third one's going to be good. So far, only Japanese review outlets have reviewed it, but it's been reviewing okay over there. The embargo's still not up yet elsewhere. I think people like were negative towards it at first, just because it's a Switch exclusive, and previously it was on the actual consoles. I'm not too bothered. Although I did notice in the official trailer for it, you can see that it lags. So it's maybe it wasn't running docked, I don't know, but the Switch does not seem like the ideal home for it if it also can't handle it particularly. Oh good, retrovision everybody, I got the best pill. What did you miss? Oh, we talked about so many filthy things. Just utter filth. Don't need that key. Actually, I might need that key.
So we'll be playing that on Friday, which has also kind of like cemented my decision that I don't plan to go back to Bloodstained after finishing it. I already, I, I mean, I can't pretend that finding out that game's out on Friday was the like the only reason, because by then I'd already pretty much made up my mind. Because I think it was the six hours of it I played were fine, but I'm not invested enough to go looking for another ending when I thought I was going the right way just for the game to be like, ha, you have a bad ending. Um, there'll be spots, yeah. But I don't think Valnar has any interest in it, so there might be three slots. It'll be a first come, first serve type affair. Well, actually, technically, I should give priority to patrons, but again, we'll see come the time if there is actually enough people that it becomes an issue. We're talking about Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 on the, the Switch. Yeah, Hollow Knight's base ending is perfectly fine. Still takes you a while to get to, it's satisfying, and then you only have to do bonus stuff. And honestly, if a Hollow Knight player still really likes the game but then looks at the White Palace and is like, nah, I, I'm, I'm with them. The White Palace is not a good fit for Hollow Knight. It doesn't feel like it belongs in the game and it's only there because it was a Kickstarter stretch goal. It's the only reason it exists. Because it doesn't fit the tone or theme or pacing of the game at all. It's the one bit they got wrong. Well that and the dream bosses. Which are also bad. So if you play the normal ending you're like, that's good enough for me. I don't have a problem with that at all. You still saw like enough of the game to tuck it away and be satisfied. Silk Song doesn't have a specific release date yet. Yeah. It'll be next year, I think. Almost certainly. Team Cherry is a team of five people, remember? And they made Hollow Knight one on a shoestring budget on for like fifty k Australian dollars. It's going to be forever the example I go to of look at what a few people with a dream, good ideas and just a little bit of funding can do and then compare that to all the shit that's got millions behind it. Like Hollow Knight is better than Bloodstained. It's surpassed something that stays too true to the original source material. I am going to play Silk Song, yes, for sure. Okay, we're actually a little overly chonky now. It's starting to become an issue. Thank you. Does Hollow Knight have cute anime girls? No. Excuse me, a hornet? What about, um... The Lady Obsessed with Zolt. Also, I'm pretty sure Hollow Knights are genderless, you sexist pig. Damn it. Double damn it, because it's like the worst item in the game. Chaos has forsaken me. Hollow Knight characters are not furries. Well, maybe the dung dung beetle knight guy, what's he called? The one that goes Mah. And enjoys when you smell. Yeah, they're based on bugs. But they have humanoid characteristics obviously, and they're not furry. Even though bugs are furry, it's just that they're so small we can't see their fur. Is Tombray still here? Because I was going to say nobody's jacking off to Hollow Knight characters, but I need to 
temper my expectations based on who's still present. Oh, he is still here. He said Dung Defender. Bob Transformation? No, we're still missing one. The rare Bob Transformation. None shall see it. Are you super delayed? No, probably I just super delayed in reading. I'm trying to get through the run because we're not going to lose at this point. Our damage is a bit crap, but our tier rate is good enough that it makes up for it now. And we're pretty survivable. So it's going through the motions at this point. And I can't think of anything specific that I also did with my day off because I'm boring and just like relax and paint on my day off usually. And then watch garbage on Netflix. Don't call her Hornet Waifu. She'd kill you without a second glance. And then step on your crotch, but you'd probably enjoy that, wouldn't you? No further king today, no. We played some on Sunday. We played, actually, we got quite far through. Quite a lot done. We'll be playing it at some point this week, but no specific day. Almost certainly not Friday. That's about as close as I can give you as an estimate. <laughs> Listen to how deep Isaac's voice is now. I leave a... yeah, I did. Oh, yes, you're right. I totally forgot about that. Yeah, I've got to launch Dead Rising. No, we've got to start the Discord call before loading Dead Rising, because if you alt-tab out of it, you have to crash Steam. Thank goodness Capcom learned how to do PC ports after a while. Because, my god, their early ones are bad. Basically, Dragon's Dogma PC onwards is fine. Anything prior to that? No. I'm going back for the spare heart just in case, because I don't want to accidentally uh, meet an unfortunate end. Didn't I have a balls of steel pill at some point? What happened to that pill? I must have just swapped it out at some point and not realised, because I don't think I used it. Wasn't I supposed to play Dragon's Dogma in the summer? No, you're thinking of Nier. I mean, I did Nier. And everybody got mad at me for not liking a shitty sitcom level drama game with absolutely no deeper meaning to it. You get more emotional connection from like a teen girl novel about vampires. Bloodstained was starting to go that way as well. I think once people realised I was heading towards the quote-unquote bad ending just because I was going the way the game told me to. I didn't mention it, but I was seeing a lot of, like, uh-ohs in chat or dot dot dots, you know, like backseating without backseating to try and circumvent the rules because they are, I am so very smart. 
So honestly, if that was just going to continue, it was time to stop anyway. Why would my Isaac give you nightmares? Look, I'm an esteemed skeleton gentleman. Should have seen how we started, it looked horrible. This is the origin story for my avatar on my second YouTube channel. He went on to an illustrious career painting miniatures. And doing like solid 6 out of 10 battle reports. Bruh. Oh right, revenge fly. You're food now. I censored myself in case Chris B's child is watching. Oh. <laughs> revenge fly, could you kill him a bit faster, please? I can't dodge the beams because I'm too honk chonky. I almost said honky. There. I made myself less chunky by destroying my own body for a room. It looks like my skeleton has a beard. But you say thank you for censoring. I did say cunt earlier. But that was Valinar's fault. If we go after Mega Satan, we might die. Because our damage isn't very good. Whoops. I accidentally changed myself. No, change back. No, change back. That's... You know what? That's fine. That helps. We'll clear a couple of rooms and I'll think about it. Or we'll get a charge on Book of Sin at the very least. The iPhone pills made it worse again. One point eight five luck, we're probably not gonna get much. That might be helpful. I'll get a charge and we'll go into Mega Saiyan and just try and beat him for the win. If we don't, who cares? Because how often is it that I fight Mega Saiyan? One more win. Oh, I used it. Instinctively, because I got charged from the martyr. Oh well. Sure, we'll take that in and blow up the machine for some desperation hearts. Stay still. Got half a heart. Actually, that's not bad. Half a heart is a good thing. I wish that the sides could push bombs to help this along a little bit. But at least we... I, I'm kind of glad I got hit there, honestly, to get Revenge Fly out, because that's going to speed this up. That was just a bad dodge. Especially with the quick detonation. We should not have taken that item. Spirit Heart, please. Nope. I don't know if Death's horse got killed there or not. Hope 
you weren't hoping that I'd be reading what you're saying in chat right now while fighting this with very little damage. Oh god, we still have the angel spawns to go through after all the sins as well. Ugh. If we had just a couple of damage, not even a couple, one damage up would have been enough with this tier right to guarantee it. No, it's a little in question. Is that Dad's ring actually that's like temporarily freezing enemies that get close for the first time? Maybe that's what it's doing? Oh, what do you want to get hit by there? Oh, we still have Guppy's collar as well. Angel number one. Get him, Revenge Fly. I'll be over here. Not getting him. This is the one that likes to try and get you. Well, at least I'll die with a stupid expression on my face. Wow, I don't think I've ever seen him spawn Larry Jr. Or if I wasn't Larry Jr., it was the other one, but whatever. I've never killed him so slowly that I've seen that, I think. Yeah, they're fallen angels, they're not actual angels. Why they change skin tone? Ow. All I ask that is if you kill me, don't bring me back. I don't want to come back. Oh, I won. Hooray, let's watch a child die. For those watching after the fact on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed. See you next time. Ta for now.